Growing up exploring Alaska's ever-changing landscape inspires a lifetime of learning. That's why Alaska 529 is a proud sponsor of the Alaska Sea Life Center and focused on helping families take small steps now for their child's future education. To learn about the Alaska 529 plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, carefully read the plan disclosure document available at alaska529plan.com. Alaska 529. Save in Alaska. Study anywhere. Everyone gather round, it's a time of day for Virtual Small Fry School. We can hardly wait. Make new ocean friends, connect with old pals too. Let's learn about the sea, there's so much to do. La la, small fry. La la, small fry. La la, small fry. La la, small fry. Learn and have fun, cool creatures to meet. It's virtual small fry school. Go ahead and grab a seat. Hello friends, welcome back to Virtual Small Fry School here at the Alaska Sea Life Center. My name is Rebecca and I'm so excited that you're here with us today. I want to acknowledge that I live and work on the traditional homeland of the Alutic Sukpiak people whose heritage and culture continue to enrich our communities. And I'm wearing a mask to keep my animal friends and my human friends safe. Today we're learning about how an octopus's body parts and behaviors help them survive in their habitat. Let's take a look. Giant Pacific octopuses, like El Dorado, are very interesting animals. The mantle is El Dorado's body and holds the organs she needs to survive. On the side of the mantle, you can find the siphon, which looks like a tube. El Dorado sucks in water through the mantle and then pushes it out through the siphon. This is how she moves through the water. She also does this to breathe by using her gills. El Dorado has two gills to breathe oxygen, and she has three hearts. One main heart and two gill hearts. The main heart pumps blood to the gill hearts and the rest of her body. How many hearts do you have? One! We humans have one heart that pumps blood throughout our body and our organs. Did you know that octopuses have blue blood? That's because they have copper in their blood. We have iron in our blood, so ours is red. In the mantle, El Dorado also has a stomach, kidneys, gonads, a poison sac, and an ink sac. Next is El Dorado's head. She has two eyes located on the side of her head. She also has a beak, which is like her teeth, and her mouth is located in the middle under her head. You cannot see it because it is hidden by her arms. How many brains do you have? Just one. Did you know that an octopus has nine brains? The main brain is located in the head. The other eight are found in the arms. One brain for each arm. The main brain controls all the arms. A brain in the arm allows each arm to taste, touch, and move. Octopuses have eight arms. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many arms do you have? I have two. Can you count with me? One, two. Let's move our arms like the octopus. If you had eight arms, what would you do? I would hug my friends 
and make them dinner at the same time. El Dorado has webbing between her arms to help her catch her prey. Each of the arms has strong suckers that help her stick to rocks and get food. El Dorado tastes her food with her suckers. We use our tongues to taste our food. All over her body, she has special cells called chromatophores, which allow her to camouflage and blend in with her surroundings. This is how she protects herself. And she also protects herself by squirting ink to distract her predators. All octopuses have these body parts and behaviors that help them survive. Gentle Giant Octopus by Karen Wallace Illustrated by Mike Bostock A gentle giant octopus jets through the shadows. She's huge like a spaceship. Her eyes glow in the water. Long tentacles fly like ribbons behind her. Silver-backed fish scatter before her. A wandering mother octopus moves through the water. Inside her body, she carries her eggs. She looks for a den that is safe and well hidden, for a crack in a rock face or a hole under a stone. When octopuses need to move quickly, they jet backward by sucking in seawater and pumping it out through a funnel-like siphon. An octopus sinks like a huge rubber flower. Sand muddies the water as she lands on the seabed. Octopuses use their tentacles like fingers to sense things. They use the suckers on their tentacles to grip things. Octopus eyes turn frontward and backward. Her tentacles sense a crab in the water. A tentacle searches, it stretches, and touches. <gasps> Unlucky octopus! Crab claws can have sharp edges. They nip at the tentacle. The octopus pulls back. The crab scuttles sideways and escapes in the sand. A mother giant octopus slides over the seabed. Her body stretches like taffy over the stones. Her skin ripples like seaweed. She's black as the sea kelp. The goggle-eyed octopus feels her way forward. Usually, the giant octopus is reddish-brown, but when it's hunting or hiding, it can change to become very dark or very pale within seconds. But under a boulder, a wolf eel is waiting. His mottled gray face darts from the shadows. His teeth strike like daggers. He rips off a tentacle, then sinks like a nightmare deep into his den. Octopuses have eight tentacles. A healthy octopus can regrow its tentacles if they are damaged. If an octopus is attacked, it will squirt out a cloud of inky liquid 
to hide its escape. A frightened giant octopus squirts ink at the wolf eel. She shoots back from the boulder, back over the seabed. She's pumping and sucking the sea from her body. A quivering giant octopus rests on a boulder. Underneath is a cave that is easily guarded. Octopuses are about as clever as cats, and like cats, they're very curious. She squeezes inside. She drags pebbles around her. Her search for a home is over at last. Octopuses don't have any bones, and they can squeeze through the tiniest of holes. A mother giant octopus lays eggs in her cave den. They hang from the roof like grapes on a string. She guards them from crabs and nibbling fishes. While her babies are growing, she never eats and never rests. A female giant octopus will lay as many as 60,000 tiny eggs. After five months, her babies swim from their egg sacs. They squirm and they wiggle. They jet through the shadows. They're sucking and pumping the sea from their bodies. Lots of other animals like to eat baby octopuses. So only two or three out of every brood live to become adults. A mother giant octopus rests in her cave den. She watches her baby swim up through the water. A gentle giant octopus shrinks in the shadows. Her life is over as their lives begin. And Friends, thank you so much for joining us today. Can we say thank you to the octopus on three? One, two, three. Thank you. And I also want to say thank you to Alaska 529 for their continued support of Small Fry School. Next week, we are learning about an octopus's life cycle. So we'll see you right here at 11 a.m. on Tuesday. Bye, friends.